Hello, my dear students. Uh, in the last class, we have completed exercise 18.1, and we have learned about graph and different quadrants. Today, uh, I am going to explain a new topic that is line graph. See, a line graph displays data that changes continuously over a period of time. Means after this time, that then it's, it's continuous from period of time. And to draw a line graph, x o x dash and y o y dash are drawn perpendicular to each other. X o x dash and y o y dash. You understood? I think this one. This is x o x dash. This line and this is y o y dash. Perpendicular is either or not. It is perpendicular to each other. So here. Independent variable is taken on x-axis, whereas dependent variable on on the y-axis. So we plot the points and join these points in pairs to get the line graph. Means after plotting the points, we have to join. There are three points. We have to join the points. So here, question number one, eighteen point two. The temperature of a patient with fever was taken at different times on a particular day during hospitalization. The temperature of a patient with fever was taken at different times on a particular day during hospitalization. In morning 5 a.m. the temperature is 100. It is in Fahrenheit, okay? Morning 8 a.m. temperature temperature is 102. Like this till 8 p.m. Okay? Now draw the time temperature line graph. Is draw a time temperature line graph. So how to draw it? You can see this this one. Question number one, eighteen point two. So I am using this answer to explain. Understood? Because graphical depression last time already I already told you it is not easy to show you live. Okay? So I think you will understand. This is not tough. This is very very easy concept. So after drawing this, maybe you are looking this crack, na? This crack no need to give as it is. You just give like this. Okay? This crack simply you give crack. Crack means what? Now the main important thing is what is crack? See. If you see the, if you see that time here, this time and this one is temperature. This x-axis denotes time and y-axis denotes temperature. If you see the time here, that is started from five. You can is directly start from five also, no problem. If you want to start from five, you can start from five directly. But here in this question, they have started from. In this answer, they have started from four. So, if this is four, as we know, know that to draw a graph. The scale should be the scale measurement scale should be this uh, one centimeter. This should be equal for all the points. But here you are starting from four. That is why this one you are giving crack from four. It is continuous now. From four it is continuous continuous now. Okay. Similarly, this side also like that. It started from ninety seven. So up to this crack means from ninety seven. It is it will be continuous because we need the value after ninety seven only. Yes. So first you have given. A uh, four a.m., six a.m., eight a.m., ten a.m., twelve a.m., two p.m., four p.m., six p.m., eight p.m. And this side, the temperature ninety seven, ninety eight, ninety nine, hundred. Yes. So here, you can see this four to six means four to six. How many hours? Two hours. One centimeter equal to two hours. Yes. X axis one centimeter equal to two hours, and Y axis one centimeter equal to one degree Fahrenheit. You can see ninety seven one centimeter is ninety eight. You need to understand the measurement of the scale first. Then you can do it very easily, or you, or you can understand it very, it very easily. See, here we are having at five a.m. hundred. If you see the question, so you can see here. If this is four, this is six. Maybe it is not clear. Please try um, do this one in your graph sheet. It will be clear. In between you will get five because four six between five. Five then what is there hundred? So five. This is hundred. Over this one. Next what is there? Eight. Eight m. Eight m is one zero two. So eight. This is eight. This one is one zero two. So this this point. Next. Eleven m one zero one. So this ten, this one twelve, this will be eleven, one zero one. Next, two p.m. This is two, ninety nine. This one is ninety nine. Next, five p.m. So five will become between four and six. That is one zero three. Five one zero three. Then last eight p.m. That is ninety eight. So eight ninety eight. 
so after getting this point already it is joined here okay but when you are going to do it so that time after getting this point write the coordinates and after that you have to join like this by using your scale join using your scale then this two point you join using your scale then this point all this point okay then you will get a shape this is called line graph I hope all of you understood this one clear please do it in your graph sheet then it will be clear in case any doubt please get back to me okay next question to a person cycles from a town to a neighboring suburban area his distance from the town at different time is shown by the flowing graph i repeat a person cycles from a town to a neighboring suburban area and his distance from the town at different different times is shown by the flowing graph you can see he is taking uh, he is starting from 7 am and this distance he has taken okay uh, you have you need to give the answer from this graph the first question they have asked okay before that i will explain this uh, this one 7 am 8 am 9 am 10 am these are the distance okay 2 km 4 km 6 km 8 km 10 km like that the first question is what is the scale taken for the time axis what is the scale taken for the time axis you can see here if you just uh, see this one square or you can say one centimeter is equal to what this is one centimeter i'm taking one centimeter equal to seven to eight means one hour yes so we can write this so i am doing here here only okay there are students then uh, one centimeter you can write equal to what one hour please write down this in your copy this first question answer this one how much time did the person take for the travel see how much time the person take for the travel this is the initial point and this is the final you see how many hours it takes till 1 pm that means 7 to 8 1 8 to 9 1 9 to 10 1 10 to 11 1 then 1 hour 2 hour 3 hour 4 hour 5 hour 6 hours total how, how much time he has taken to complete the journey 6 hours so you can write for the next 6 hours yes this is uh, this is question number 2 okay the answer of question number 2 is 6 hours question number 3 how much is the distance between town and suburban area town and suburban area town and suburban area if you see and if you see the graph properly then you will understand this 0 this is the initial point means this initial point 2 you have to see the final point this is what this is the final point how much distance this one 20 kilometer because in this question it is clearly given that a person cycles from a town to neighbor suburban town to neighbor suburban this is town straight then after 20 kilometer he will reach the town so he will reach the suburban area that means what is the distance 20 kilometer so you need to write here this third answer 20 kilometer next question during which period did he write fastest during which period did he write fastest see the graph see this distance okay one point to the second point then this one this one then this one see like this which period you can see write fastest if you see clearly this graph you can see 10 am this one you can see so this is 10 kilometer you can see 10 am then you can see 11 am see this is highest going vertically you can see like this means going vertically means what is speed first is or not this one and distance also move here you can see it is a maximum distance taken from this for this period 10 am to 11 am so the question is during which period did he write fastest 11 am to or 10 am to 11 am you can write 10 am to 11 am clear all of you understood this 
okay so you can complete uh, by yourself very easily question number 3 4 and 5 yes this uh, question number 3 4 and 5 is your homework please complete these three questions and submit with us a homework thank you god bless you all